Welcome back, friends. So today we're going to work in the board book again. I just love these board books, especially this one because of its nice petite size. It is perfect for my 8x10 jelly prints. Most of my prints are made on the 8x10 using both deli paper and rice paper. Okay, so let's stop talking. Let's just get to it. So for today's board book collage, I've chosen these papers. We have a lot of grayscale papers and colored papers. And here's my spread that I'm going to be working on. These papers are very, very shiny. So I always uh, get a sanding block and I sand the pages very well. And then I put a layer of white gesso on there. So the sanding does help with the gesso to stick to the paper. And then after that dries, we're ready to glue on our papers. So these are all deli papers. Both the grayscale and the colored are done with deli papers. And so obviously on the grayscale ones, I've left a lot of negative space that you could see the colors through. And then on the colored paper, it's completely covered, but at the same time, you could still see through them a little bit because they are deli paper. So we're going to do a combination of putting the papers underneath the translucent ones and then also putting some of those colored papers on top. So I do have a bit of a plan. I'm going to use this grayscale paper and only this grayscale paper. Then we're going to first start by putting down some colored papers on the background. On the left hand side, I'm only going to use that one um, red and purple paper. And then on the other side, I have a, another sheet I'm going to use. So I'm trimming this right where the there was like a transition where I used different stencils. And one of them is going to be on the left side and the other one doesn't really fill up the other side, but that's OK because I have a plan for that, too. So I'm putting down a layer of gel medium. Actually, I think this was, um, I used matte medium, which is a little bit more, and it's by Golden. It's a little more liquid than the, oops, I, tore, I tore the paper. Anyway, it's a little more liquid than the medium that I'm used to using, which is Liquitex gel medium. So I wasn't really very happy with the way it was working out, but I, my, my other gel medium was, was gone um, and, the, and it hadn't arrived yet. So I made the best of it and it turned out okay. But I will never use matte medium again on paper collage. I just really, I, I hear other people love it. I don't love it. My papers were very wrinkled, and I I get much flatter results with the Liquitex gel medium. So I wasn't really sure how I was going to use this other paper. I thought I was going to anchor it to the right hand side, and I and I didn't know what paper was going to go underneath it at first. First I thought maybe that you know that bright yellow and orange paper, but then I saw this paper. And that far edge over there where, where the blue and the purple is, I, that's, I wanted to anchor that to the edge. And actually the red part doesn't even, it gets cut off. So the blue is going to go straight to the edge. It's more like a primary blue, almost like a cyan. But then the purple happened because it was I was also using a little quinacridone red. And so we got some purple in there. But I love how all of that looks, all that wonderful grunge. And that's a really pretty light green color as well. 
So I'm tearing this paper now. I'm going to anchor it more to the gutter and line it up the way it should have been with the page because it is a continuation of that other paper. Okay, so I'm going to get this uh, grayscale paper glued down. So most of this is taking a really long time to dry, probably because of the matte medium. And I definitely like the way that colored paper looks overlaying the gray. So I'm just trying to figure out, you know, I like this paper. I definitely want it to be on this side. I'm not exactly sure what position yet, but I'm going to leave it there for a bit and let it, uh, you know, let it come to me. It'll eventually come to me. So I have to reinforce the corner. And I'm noticing that my book, I don't know if you saw that, it's, it's almost like warping a little bit. I think the matte medium being far more fluid than the gel medium that I used to that I'm used to using, it is making the book warp a bit. So I'm not happy with that. So anyway, I'm trimming up some of these. I'm trying to make some small stripes for this upper right hand corner. kind of offset them like that. And this paper, I'm still not sure. I definitely want to use it. I'm just not sure of the position. And then boom, it just like comes to me. So sometimes we just have to be patient. It eventually works out. And I'm trying to get to use this purple paper. I'm wanting to use this purple paper. But um, anyway, I struggle with trying to find a spot it's kind of dulling the whole thing, so I'm not too happy with it. I love the gray that we have. I love the dark black. I love all these beautiful colors. And that purple is just not making it for me. We have that nice little pur purple that's over on the right-hand side, so I thought I wanted to add the purple, but it wasn't working. And I think that corner needs to be a little lighter, but that wasn't making it either, at least not that particular paper but I definitely want to go lighter in that corner. So I found this paper and I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to anchor it to the very bottom, but I even like that little piece of yellow that's on the end. I'm going to leave that. Then I found this beautiful yellow. So that is the lightness I was looking for. And I'm going to overlay the red, the red on top of it. And notice that little yellow that's up in that piece of, above it. So it all kind of marries, you know, and your eye is going around in a circle. So now that my background is dry and I've trimmed off the edges, I'm now going to glue my pieces that, are, that go on top. And hopefully I remembered where they're all supposed to go. And that was not where that was supposed to go, but that's okay. It still looks good. So sometimes I take a photograph when I lay everything down, but it's not glued down yet. I take a photograph so that I can remember exactly where I had planned to put everything. I didn't do that this time. Trust me, you should do it. Anyway, I'm leaving this hanging off the edge so I could trim it up. And I'm loving the way that's looking. So now we just have to get our stripes up in the corner again.
I decide to make this one just a little bit thinner. So I am loving the way this came out, but the biggest reason for that is that deli paper with the black and gray. That, that paper I just absolutely loved. And the combination of that paper along with these nice beautiful colors, especially that quieter green color, uh, that is what is making this successful, that we have all these different values and these different shades. Some are very bright and some are more muted. And then we have strong con contrast of black. I'm very happy with this. Let's trim it up. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I absolutely love it. Don't forget to create, inspire, and share, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.